Krauss-Weber test. Introduction Krauss-Weber test originated in a posture clinic and was developed for the diagnosis and treatment of low back pain. Soon, it became familiar as Krauss-Weber test of minimum muscular fitness, Krauss and Hirschland, 1954. The test consists of six items which indicate the level of muscular strength and flexibility of key muscle groups. The six test items of the Krauss-Weber muscular strength test items are given below. Strength of abdominal plus psoas muscles. Strength of abdominal minus psoas muscles. Strength of psoas and lower abdominal muscles. Strength of upper back muscles. Strength of lower back muscles. Floor touch test. Continue. The six test items were applied to 4,458 Eastern United States school children and 3,156 European children, Swiss, Austrian, and Italian children. It was reported that 57.9% of the United States children and only 8.7% of European children failed one or more of the test items. Observing a very poor performance of United States children on Krauss-Weber test. Psoas syndrome, symptoms, causes and treatment. What is psoas muscle? The psoas muscle is located in the lower lumbar region of the spine and extends through the pelvis to the femur. This muscle works by flexing the hip joint and lifting the upper leg towards the body. A common example of the movement created from this muscle is walking. One strength of abdominal plus psoas muscles. Purpose to measure the strength of abdominal plus psoas muscles. Equipment pen, paper, flat surface, or table. Procedure The subject is asked to lie down on a table in supine position, back resting on the table, with his hands behind the neck. The tester holds the subject's feet down and asks him slash her to perform one sit-up. Scoring if the subject is unable to raise shoulder from the table, a zero score is given and is graded as fail. A score of 10 is given if the subject is able to perform one complete sit-up. Two strength of abdominal minus psoas muscles. Purpose to measure strength of abdominal minus psoas muscles. Equipment pen, paper, flat surface, or table. Procedure The subject is asked to lie down on a table in supine position with hands behind the neck and knees bent. The tester holds the subject's feet down and asks him slash her to perform one sit-up. Scoring If the subject is unable to raise shoulder from the table, a zero score is given and is graded as fail. A score of 10 is given if the subject is able to perform one complete sit-up. Three strength of psoas and lower abdominal muscles. Purpose to assess the strength of psoas and lower abdominal muscles. Equipment pen, paper, flat surface, or table. Procedure The subject is asked to lie down in supine position with hands behind the neck and feet raised to a height of 10 inches with knees straight. The tester starts counting 10 seconds as soon as the subject has raised his slash her feet to the height of 10 inches. Scoring the subject is graded fail if he slash she cannot hold raised feet for 10 seconds. Each additional second after 10 seconds, fetches additional score of 1 for each second up to a maximum score of 10. For strength of upper back muscles. Purpose to assess the strength of upper back muscles. Equipment pen, paper, flat surface, or table and pillow. Procedure The subject is asked to lie down in prone position, belly facing downward, with a pillow under pelvic region and lower abdomen, hands behind the neck. The tester holds feet down and asks the subject to raise head, shoulders, and chest. As soon as the subject raises chest, the examiner starts counting time. 
Scoring the subject is graded fail if he slash she cannot hold raised head, shoulders, and chest for 10 seconds. Each additional second after 10 seconds, fetches additional score of 1 for each second up to a maximum score of 10. Five strength of lower back muscles. Purpose to assess the strength of lower back muscles. Equipment pen, paper, flat surface, or table and pillow. Procedure The subject is asked to lie down in prone position, belly facing downward, with a pillow under pelvic region and lower abdomen. The tester instead of holding the feet of the subject asks him slash her to raise feet keeping knees straight. Scoring as soon as the subject raises his slash her feet with knees straight, the examiner starts counting seconds. If the subject holds the position for 10 seconds, he slash she is graded pass otherwise fail. If the subject is able of hold position for more than 10 seconds, each additional second scores 1 point for the subject up to a maximum of 10 points. Six floor touch test. Purpose to measure the flexibility of lower back and hamstring muscles. Equipment pen, paper, and flat surface. Procedure this item measures trunk flexibility and the strength of back and hamstring muscles. The subject is asked to stand erect in bare feet with hands at sides, and feet together. The examiner holds knees of the subject and asks him slash her to lean down slowly and touch floor with fingertips and hold the position for 3 seconds. Scoring if the fingertips remain at a distance of 10 or more inches from the floor, the subject is graded as fail while the subject is awarded 1 point who is able to touch the floor and hold the touch position for 3 seconds is given a scoring of 10 points. References One Yobu, A, 2010 Test, Measurement, and Evaluation in Physical Education and Sports Friends Publications, New Delhi To Cancel, DK, 2008 Textbook of Applied Measurement Evaluation and Sports Selection Sports and Spiritual Science Publication, New Delhi